Hey Team Crib Design, today we're doing another DIY. I'm at a friend's house, my sister-in-law's house actually, and we're gonna do a pantry makeover. She loves to cook, has busy days, and she's got tons of stuff in her pantry that has just gotten out of control, needs to be reorganized. Um, she likes to keep a lot of things, so we're gonna purge some stuff today. So that's gonna be a bummer for her, but she's already prepared and she's gonna be a good sport. So we're gonna get right into the video. We're gonna do a couple of steps. Step number one is gonna be just pulling things out, purging some things and cleaning. And then step number two is gonna be just taking inventory of everything that she has so we can group things together like her noodles and beans, dry foods, that type of thing, canned goods. Step number three is going to be planning. We're going to plan how we're going to put it all back in so that it will be functional for her. She knows how she likes to pull things that she's cooking, so we'll make it very functional. We want it to be organized, but it has to be functional. And then step number four is going to be just making sure everything looks nice and cohesive. I did grab a few things for that. So we picked up a lot of baskets. Um... I grabbed those from the dollar store. I grabbed some labels. I brought my label gun, um, my label machine, my glue gun, so we can make sure that we secure those um, well. I brought my glue gun just because these are dollar store baskets and I wanna make sure they stick and that we're not having to redo this process anytime soon. So guys, we're gonna jump right into the video. I'm gonna show you a clip of the before and then we're gonna just start getting into process one. So if you're interested in seeing what happens, Keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm gonna just pull everything out. And I don't know if you guys can see, but she loves um, just dry herbs. So I'm gonna try to figure out some type of way to incorporate a little board so she can hang her dry herbs inside the pantry upside down. Um, some herbs like uh, basil and parsley, we all know they don't last very long. They're used bits fresh because they're watery um, herbs and um, they don't dry out very well and last very long, but things like thyme and cilantro can be hung upside down and she likes to grow those. So we'll try to incorporate a space for that as well.
Okay, guys, so we're back. It's day two. We both took a break. We got tired, but we got everything cleaned out. Got a lot of things organized um, last night. And so today we're just doing some final labeling on um, some other items that she wants to include in the pantry. Uh, I bought a over-the-door rack that I'm going to try a little quick DIY with. So I bought this rack to try to have for her to store her herbs and have them dry out inside of her pantry. So I also bought these clips from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to try to hot glue these and we can actually label them because they're little chalk labels. So we'll see how that turns out. I'll show you guys a clip. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but we'll see. And so once we're done with this, guys, I'm going to show you guys a full clip of the pantry and show you how we got things organized with mostly products from the Dollar Tree. So hang in there guys, keep watching. Just a quick clip of how I was doing these. So these also came from the dollar store. I showed you guys these earlier. Um, so they come with a string so you can actually tie them on a basket. But for the purpose of this, I've been using my labeler to make labels. So the white stands out, black background. So what I've been doing is just using my hot glue gun to kind of put hot glue around the base of it. I was actually doing it, putting the labels on first on the containers, but I think the heat from the hot glue makes the label expand, the writing on the label expand, and so it kind of fades the label. So I've just been doing this first. So that's what I do. Put the hot glue on the back of the label, of course. And then I'm just, she's right-handed, so I was try, trying to be careful about where I placed them. And then I just placed them on and actually smoothed them out. And guys, they stay really well because I did not do one correctly and I had to pull it off. And it took me a minute to get it off. Now they do come off, so that's fortunate. But I had to pull it off and it did not remove easy, so I think they're going to be pretty sturdy. Okay, guys, we are back, and everything turned out absolutely great. Um, these cereal containers came from Walmart. These baskets are from, of course, the Dollar Tree, and we just have some dry goods in this basket, some of her cake mixes, biscuit batters. Um, this basket right now, we just have chips in it. Um, so she can put anything in there she wants. That's dry, of course. This is some containers. Of course, we did these. These are things she doesn't use too regularly. She has self-rising flour. Her all-purpose flour is down much lower because she's short. So we tried to organize um, so she could reach things. This is breadcrumbs, fish fry. Um, this shelf has her everyday things on it. All of her pastas, noodles that she uses. Um, so here, here are some more things that she uses on a daily basis. Um, and we just organized those. Those containers came from the dollar store. And then here we just did some little snack baskets for her daughter. She has Pop-Tarts, dry oatmeal um, packets since she's homeschooling, popcorn for snacks. This area is just all of her oils, her essential things that she cooks with, um, her dry canned goods that she uses on a daily basis. Of course, she has other things in her cabinets, but her daughter likes soup as well, so we have some of that there. And then here we just incorporated a Lazy Susan so that we could put oils and... We got some Dollar Tree bottles there and did her olive oil. She uses a lot of that to cook with. So her vinaigrettes and her oils are there. This basket in the corner she can use for whatever. We left some space to grow. Um, so that's just a miscellaneous basket there that we'll figure out later as she goes. This basket we actually labeled miscellaneous. But this is a basket that she likes to keep jars because she likes to can things. It um, has her little everyday blender in it for when she makes smoothies or whatever. This basket here is her special basket. These are her protein shakes. 
um, her raw Brazilian nuts. So this is her basket for her health foods, of course, that nobody else in the house likes to eat. And then this is a baking basket because sometimes she'll cook fresh goods. So it has some of her caramel slices in it, um, her cupcake container. So she can just grab this, sit it on the kitchen counter and put it right back. Um, I left this basket empty. She says she's going to go and grab some fresh snacks um, for her daughter as well. This popcorn bin is right here for when her daughter has company. Um, and it's right in the right place, right below the popcorn. So that's where it needs to be. And then we also did an area at the bottom. She has some large things that she buys from Sam. So we put those down low. We're going to get a riser for those. But right now I have them in a bucket. And then she had this cute little adorable bag. So it has some of her things in it. Like warm baking dishes that she travels with. Uh, an extra crock pot. Uh, a fondue machine. So that's there. We put a Hercules. Um, I'm sorry, not a Hercules hook. I put a command hook on the wall. Just from the Dollar Tree. And this hangs her Aldi's bags because she likes to shop at Aldi's. And then, guys, as we move into this next section here, she has a few other appliances on the top shelf. Space is utilized perfect. This is all of her paper products. As you can see, her trash bags. She has paper towels that are right at her hand. She has some extra because she buys in large bulk. But these are right here so she can just replenish as she runs out. Um, this area is bowls um, and her cutlery that they eat out of just disposable things some paper plates and we use just a cute little plate stand that she had laying around so we repurposed it and all of her paper plates are there and it turned out really cute this area we did all of her meal prep containers so she has a space for her meal prep containers when she's going to work and we just used a little Dollar Tree chalkboard clips there um, a little napkin basket if they need to grab quick napkins for a quick snack rather than using paper towels and then I got this basket for her to keep grocery bags in so that's gonna work out really well she can just store all her extra grocery bags in there and then I grabbed the container because she had some things in the pantry um, that we really didn't have a place for. So this one is an overflow container and I made sure I organized this in a special way. This has her extra flour, grits, dried goods in and I put those on top for a purpose because I didn't want chemicals to get in it. And so this area, she's been grabbing sanitizers and hand soaps, especially with COVID and the pandemic. So those are there, her um, stainless steel cleaner. And then on the bottom, we have all of her sanitizers and some air fresheners that she likes to use. And so I put those on the bottom to make sure that no chemicals will leak into her food. And we just labeled that. So that came out really perfect. Then I actually wanted to add a little special touch. Um, so I actually added a little sign here that says Wi-Fi password. And she's going to put her own little information there just for something cute. Came with a little piece of chalk. It was in the Dollar Tree. So just $1. And then this last thing, like I told you guys, she loves to do um, her own planting of dried herbs. And I think this was absolutely cute. Um, this was a DIY. I'm going to post a little separate video, but these are chalkboard clips and I used an over the door shoe rack and made this for her to hang all of her dry goods. So this says sage and her basil, her thyme and oregano. And then since she had an extra hook, we just hung her measuring cups there. So I think it came out really, really cute guys. So guys, yeah, this is the final product. Nice and organized. Absolutely amazing. We went from the beginning to this and she absolutely loves it. It turned out wonderful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. She has a space that she can cook in and enjoy 
guys organization makes all the world a difference um please don't forget to like and subscribe i hope this gave you some nice tips and i will see you guys in the next video stay blessed and thank you for joining